Hi, welcome to Flutter Junction. Today we are going to learn SQLite in Flutter. And before that, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified on upcoming videos. In this tutorial, we shall learn the basics of Flutter, uh, of SQLite with this slide, and then we create the uh, demo application to to create, read, update, and delete. That is, uh, we uh, perform the CRUD oper uh, operations with the SQLite. Right now, let's uh, move we are first section we learn by uh, the basics of SQLite with the slide what is SQLite it is the lightweight SQL uh, database uh, that is that provides the rela relational database management system and uh, with this we can uh, save our data in Flutter or our mobile applications or that application and it is very uh, lightweight in terms of setup database administration and required resources and also it is self-contained and serverless zero configuration is required and it is very transactional and for flutter we use this package spf light uh, to perform our sql queries and this is how uh, the server database works and we have the application and the application requests the data from the server and server process our queries and then fetch the data from the database and then it returns the data to the application this is how the server works but in sqlite uh, we don't have the server uh, to get connected so it directly uh, get, uh, gets the data from the database files hence it is uh, passed to and to open the database we can uh, open the database easily just with open database with our database name dot db and this database our uh, S uh, sqlite Database is saved into our default directory as obtained from the get databases path uh, in our um, Android or iOS or Mac OS. And to create the table, we have uh, we create the uh, method create table where we have the parameter database and then we execute uh, the query to create table items. This is our table name with our ID, title, description, and created it as a parameter. And it has a different data types that is integer, text, and it has timestamp. And to close the database, we can just uh, db dot close our database dot close. And to add the item, we uh, find our database and then we map our data uh, from uh, from the our fields, form fields, and then into these keys. That means these keys we have described uh, in when creating the table items. And then we insert with this insert uh, method we uh, insert into our table name the items we uh, declared here our uh, table name and then our data the data with the uh, title and description and then this config algorithm it resolves the config whenever we uh, uh, update the data or add the data into our database and to read the item we just uh, return by the query with the our table name and by our id and to edit we first uh, get the database and then we map our uh, uh, data with our keys that means title description and created it and then we run the uh, update the query uh, update function with the table name item with data with the data where the id equals the key of the our item and then to delete the item we have uh, we open the database, we get the database and we run the uh, delete method where items in the table items uh, with the data. That means we delete the data ID of the item. And the some of the uh, supported data types in SQL, SQLite are integer, real, text and blob. And some of the unsupported types are date and time and boolean. And you can uh, store them with the different methods with int and string also. And uh, for boolean you can use 0 and 1 values. 0 is the false and 1 is the true. Thank you. And this slider you, uh, you can find in the description below. Please find it. Now we are going to create the project uh, to perform the CRUD operations with the SQLite. And the final applications will be behaving uh, as follows. We have the title and then we have uh, the app bar with the title SQLite CRUD. And when the data is not available, we have the text no data available. And then we have the floating action button with the icon plus. And then we click on this uh, floating action button. We have the model sheet opening. And it has two fields and the two buttons to exit 
our, the, our model button six when clicking outside it is not closable so we create the button when clicking exit we have our model button six closed and when we click on again plus and create new we have our field validated that means we cannot uh, add the into value into our database and our title let's say uh, my task and description to create a tutorial for SQLite and then we create new and we have our uh, item created to our list and then we can also edit the item my task important let's say important and then we update and we have this uh, important updated into our title and let's see again we have this button create new when creating the new uh, item and when editing the item we have this uh, text update that means we are going to say uh, this text with this uh, with the value and then we can also delete the items this is how our final application will be working now let's get back to our code I already have created the project and if you haven't created the project please pause the video and you can follow the link above in this uh, description in this video and to use uh, the SQLite we need to have this uh, SQLite package uh, installed into our uh, dependencies in the pubstack.yml file uh, our project and the pubstack.yml file uh, let's close this and then into the dependencies we add our package and run pubget so that our uh, lab package is installed and until it gets running let's get back to our main.dat file and then we uh, delete this home page we don't need this home page so we delete this and create our own home page and then in inside lib folder we create home page dot start file and this home page is going to right and this home page is going to be the stateful widget control space and stateful widget home page our class name in vs code when you type st and control space you will have the list of options and you can uh, directly create the class stateful or stateless widgets with these options and then we close it and import that real dot dot from sort of and then into our build method we return scaffold scaffold is the uh, screen of the uh, mobile or the emulator this visible part is the uh, scaffold and then a bar and it takes so let's give the title and const text title okay sorry text and it would be um, let's say sqlite right example and then body uh, for now center child text no data available we don't have data into our database const and then the floating action button floating action button on pressed let's say leave it empty first and then our child with the plus icon const icon icon start add and then we have this error showing let's import our home page to our main.dat file import dot slash home page sorry home page dot start and then our home page would be home page now when we click this button we are going to show the form this form and before that let's run our project let's 
will take some time uh, to get to our part, uh, project run. We have our project uh, running. As you can see, SQLite example app bar with the no data available and this floating action button when clicking. We is now it is not working now we will uh, show the model button fit when clicking this floating action button so before that let's create our database first and name it database helper dot task and i will create this database and copy paste the database uh, from my own already created i have already created this uh, method and we shall describe uh, one by one Mm, you can also get this uh, file in the description below. Uh, please find it. Let's talk about the methods we created. With this uh, DB, we first open our database. And with the open database, we give the name of our database that is plotdonction.db. This is going to be our uh, database name. And we then on create, we create our table with the database. And then we create tables. We have this method and we get the database. And, and to create the table, we execute the query create table item. This is the name of the table. The name of the table is the item. And items has the parameters ID, title, description, and created date with the data types integer, text, text, and timestamp. And this is going to be our primary key. And now to create the item, I think to add the for adding the item, we have the method create item and we take the our data from our uh, field text field as shown in the uh, uh, application before and then we map our data our key this is title and other is description and then we insert into our table name item with the data and config algorithm I already have explained if, uh, if you have uh, uh, not uh, got uh, then I am again going to explain it it results the conflict of the pre-existing rows, uh, whenever uh, any violations occurs, and uh, it uh, removes the violations and uh, and update with the new uh, values. And and to get the items, I think to get our uh, value from database, we query from the our table with the ID. And to get the single item, uh, and then we query items where ID equal our ID of the key. And we limit our value to 1. And to update our item, we get the value from our field. And then we map our data to the data. And then we update with the update method to our table with the data where id equals the id of the uh, our uh, item. And to, to delete the item, we just run the delete of the items table uh, of the id. That means we delete the id of the item. And uh, you can find these. Uh, um, file and the description below please find it and now let's get back to our home page and when showing uh, to show the floating action button we unpressed we uh, create the model action button uh, bottom model sheet and now for that let's create the method word so my form now let's leave it empty and async and final for it for that so model bottom sheet the context and builder and context uh, let's leave it empty and then we return our widget container and let's give some padding to our container dot only we are going to give a uh, different uh, padding from for different sides uh, from top 15 uh, right to 15 and top right left 15 and then bottom uh, media query dot of context dot view dot view insert dot bottom plus 120 that means this uh, prevents our soft keyboard hiding our 
text field that we are going to create on this model bottom sheet and then in the model bottom sheet uh, if, let's keep we have the context already let's say uh, let's keep some elevation 5 and then is dismissal that means false that means uh, when clicking outside our form is not going to get closed and then is scroll con controlled true and now uh, in this uh, 14 action button when clicking we are going to show this form uh, let's show the model button sheet when clicking this button and empty and then show my form right now when you reload it again or reload when clicking we have our model button sheet showing but uh, it's not uh, showing nicely because we don't have any value or uh, um, items on our model button sheet let's give some style to this container style column column children and text form fill with the um, decoration input const input decoration with the index title and then let's copy this down and in bs code control shift down it uh, duplicates our code and then description yes description and when you reload it we shall be having our uh, field showing artillery let's artillery it first restart and we have on clicking we have our uh, model button sheet showing and it is uh, taking all the space and let's make it small in column main axis size main axis size dot mean and we restart or to restart it again as you can see we have this uh, model bottom sheet uh, is small now let's add some button to our uh, model bottom sheet and row children elevated button on press let's keep it empty first and then style text and exit we exit whenever we click this button and on press navigator dot pop context we close the model button sheet and then let's give some color to our uh, button for that style mm, elevated button dot style from background color mm, colors dot red and then foreground color colors dot white that means our background of the button will be red and the text color will be white and let's copy this and then let's make our uh, and let's not give any background color make this it white and then save or create item and give the alignment so that it gets space main axis alignment alignment dot space between uh, it sets apart uh, between the item now let's reload it we are not getting let's or to restart it first 
now we can see we have these buttons and they are uh, spaced uh, between them and we click the exit button our model button set is closing now when click this uh, create item we are going to validate our form for that let's create the variable uh, final form key equals global key of form set and then wrap our column with the widget form of key form key and then let's create our validator uh, to our text field text form field and let's string validates my text field and text value of string of value and then if value dot is empty if it is empty we return field is required and then when it is not empty we return null and then let's copy this and into our form field we have the validator let's paste this and again into our description also let's paste this and whenever we click this create item we need to validate our form so if if form key dot current state sorry current set dot validate we are going to close this item else our um, uh, model button set want is not going to close let's start restart it again and check it Let's get back to our emulator and then we click on its plus icon and then we create item it is it is showing the field is required now whenever we uh, enter the value it is closing it's working now now we uh, add the item whenever we uh, click the create item for that let's create a method first uh, to add our item future Word add item and async and await database helper our database class this class dot create item this create item uh, create item method to create our to insert our items into our uh, table and we need title and description for that let's create some variable for our controller uh, final underscore title controller equals text editing controller and again our description controller also description controller and paste them into our form field our controller first is title controller let's make it uppercase and then controller and the description controller and from this we are going to take the value and then let's say underscore title controller dot text we are going to take the value from the title controller and then description controller dot text and then we refresh the data that means we are going to refresh our item let's create this method again refresh data and 
this method is uh, used to get the items from the database so first we get the data from our database helper dot get items and this should be our sync and then we set state let's create our list variable where my list going to be empty array uh, let's make my data and my data equals our value from the uh, get items right now we have a method to create the item let's uh, create the method for updating our item future void update item and we take id for this because we need to identify which item to be updated and then await database helper dot sorry update item and id would be id and title is would be underscore title controller dot text and then description will be underscore description controller dot text and after updating we again refresh our data and let's uh, create the method to delete the item void delete item and we delete the id of that item and let's make it async it is going to be asynchronous and then await database helper dot delete item id and then let's show this snack bar whenever our item is get deleted and scaffold messenger dot context dot show snack bar cons snack bar of content text successfully deleted data and close it and let's keep the background color and color start to green that means it is successful right now we have our uh, method uh, to a update and delete our item now let's get back to our home page into our save create item method uh, button now we run this add, add item whenever we click this button so add item and then now let's restart it again now let's add some data to our uh, database click on add button and then title will be my title description let's say this is the description and then create item we have our data saved but it is not updating the list as we have not load our data to our uh, body now let's uh, add, get the data from uh, to our body for that uh, let's check if our my data is null or not for that let's back to our code and then if my data dot is empty we are going to show no data available else we are going to show the list view dot builder atom builder text ctx comma index and then we return the card 
and then let's close it and then uh, for that and let's keep the item count for to the list view first item count would be my data dot length that means the length of this my data array we have assigned the data while getting the data and then in card and we give the color color and let's check if index is odd so give the color dot green and whenever index is not uh, is even uh, odd then we are going to give the light green color and then margin font is inserts dot all uh, 15 and then styles this style Style. Now, tit our title will be my data index of the key title. This title of our database. This title you can see here. Title and our subtitle will be my data index. Of let's copy this key. If it is different, uh, then we won't be getting the data. So you have to be uh, be sure the keys are same here. And in trialing size box, let's keep row. We don't need size box. So row and children of edit and icon button icon. And icon const icon dot it should be sorry we are getting the icon button so icon button when pressed we are going to leave it empty now and then icon 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 dot edit first and then let's copy this and then delete. delete and on pressed we are going to edit the form and on delete we are going to delete this form let's keep it const const and on pressed so now let's restart it again and we are going to get the data on the list in our uh, application as, as you can see we have one got the data on our application and uh, let's see why it is not coming mm, right we have to get the data on the init state we need to get the data on the init state that means we get we run this method whenever our application gets load and then let's start restart it again at restart let's go to our emulator and we see string is not the soft type of uh, soft type of widget and let's get back to our terminal and see where we are getting the error right the title should be the widget and we have given the string so let's uh, cut and text and we have to give the uh, text widget but we have given the string so it was showing the error and in the subtitle also text my title the description and then let's restart it again And again, we are getting the uh, exception, and because if this size is missing, so for that let's get back to our list build that builder and make it shrink wrap true, and then let's reload it again. And again, we are getting the exception, and let's see what our exception is. Uh, we will be getting errors, uh, and we will be debug debugging. And solving the errors together, and uh, and it is showing the error on the list style uh, into our homepage the dot right, and it is saying 
and our width is max so okay let's reduce the size of main axis size main into our row main axis size dot mean and then let's restart it again we shall be debugging and uh, solving our errors too when uh, learning this and we can see we have our uh, item that we added before and let's again create our item to check if it is working or not you can see um, it is required title this is uh, second and this is this okay let's create it again and we have the our list created and we can see the color of the uh, item is uh, a bit dimmer as you can see we have this now when we have the index is even we are giving the green color and when or we are giving the uh, green color so we are giving getting this um, difference in color now when you click this edit icon we are going to edit our item let's get back to our codes and on edit we are going to edit our item for that we need to call the okay our model button sheet because we are going to edit onto our model button sheet so let's call our show form and then restart it again and we click on edit we are giving getting this uh, item with this uh, this is second uh, this is because we haven't cleared the form when adding the um, item for that let's get back to our code on adding item mm, right now here after on press it is validated let's say tested underscore title container title controller dot text would be empty and then our mm, description controller dot text also would be empty let's load it again we create item we have this and we don't have our item in this controller as we have uh, uh, empty our uh, field now let's get back to our code and when we click on the edit we are showing this uh, form again and in this form we are going we need to place this uh, title and description onto our text field and this create item text shall be update item now let's get back uh, to our code and uh, make this working and for that go to our show my button sheet and let's check let's pass the id from this uh, to this form uh, show my form here we are going to pass the id of the item first whenever we click on plus icon this plus icon we are going to create the new item so here we are going to pass the id it would be null first and from um, edit icon we are going to pass the id of the item so my index or my item my data index of id and we need to uh, add this value to our uh, bottom field here int id let's close it sorry it is okay and then it is showing null because it can be null so let's check it if it is null and now we we will add the item if id if id not equals null that means we have the item then we get the data existing data where equals my data dot first where element element id equals it means we are getting the uh, id of the element 
with id is equals id we have we have passed from this edit method where is the edit method it is in the here this uh, id we are taking the id of the item and it is returning our existing data and then set uh, and our title controller dot text would be existing data title that means of the title and then our description controller would be this description uh, let's copy from here I didn't want to mismatch the key it may show the error so and then and then when the id is not equals null that means we have our existing data and if it is null then we are going to create the new item so on else we uh, do nothing we don't have to uh, let's rip set it to empty and then description also the text also empty that means we reset our key uh, title uh, text width it is this means if we got our id is not equals null that means we have our item so we are going to update the item and if it is not if it is null then we are going to create the new item so we reset our uh, title and uh, description and now let's get back to our code and not restart it again now we can see on editing we have the title and description on our text field and exit and when we click on the next icon we have the uh, empty title and description this is the use of and this uh, check is for this uh, text field controller to set the data now to edit we need to and it is showing the create item so let's take uh, change this uh, text also first let's get back to our form and then into the create item and then when let's remove this if the id is null that means we are going to have the create item text else we have the update item text let's start reload it again and then we can see we have the update text and then we have the create item text now let's run the update uh, method when clicking this update button similar uh, we performed above here now let's get back and if id is not equals null that means we have our uh, item else we add the item and then update item of id now let's make it async it await and on press also async that means we wait until our uh, data is added and let's back to our code and not reload restart it again now when clicking on edit icon let's say description update my title update and then click on update and then we can see my title update and this is the description update our item is updated and let's create again our uh, let's say four and let's say five description then create item we can see we have our uh, item also created and we successfully updated our item now let's delete our item from our list let's get back to our code and into our card list in the delete icon the delete uh, icon so when we click we delete item 
the id that means my data index id that means we are going to delete the um, id of the item and then we again restart our application and then when you click we have our data create uh, deleted but it is not going from the list let's get back to our this method right we have one uh, refresh our item data from the list and let's reload it again and then when you delete we have our data deleted and when you delete we have our data deleted and we have successfully deleted our item and we can also create the item we can update the item and we can delete the item and we have uh, successfully created our uh, memo or memo application with the um, uh, plotter the sqflite and we perform the uh, crud operations that means we added updated and deleted our item from the list and hope you like this video and if you have any queries regarding this video please ping me and comment and you can also mail me at plotterjohnson at the red gmail.com and you can find the full code on the description below please find it and uh, and if you want to recommend some videos to me please ping me in comment section i will be addressing all of your uh, recommendations in upcoming videos and if you like don't forget to like comment subscribe with, uh, with subscribe and share it with your friends and please subscribe and press the bell icon for upcoming videos thank you happy coding